Okay, so I hope I don't bore you guys with this one, but I get a lot of questions on carburetors, um, how to adjust them, what settings, and how to pull the carb limiters and so forth. Um, pulling the carb limiters is pretty easy. It's pretty basic. Um, there's a couple of ways of doing it. One of the ways is you can run a screw down into the center of the carb limiter until it grabs and then take your pliers and yank it straight out. Um, in order to yank it straight out, you have to line up the keyway, which is on the limiter, with that notch in the carb. And once that limiter slides out of there, um, I take it over to the grinder and I grind the tabs off. That one there, I have it. You can see the little keyway on it right there. I get rid of that thing and then I shove them back in the carb. Um, doesn't matter if you put them back in or not. I just like to do it. Um, and then you have full adjustment. You can go fatter or leaner or whatever you want to do and that keyway isn't stopping you. So once I get all that done and the limiters are put back in, I take a screwdriver and I go all the way clockwise until it stops. Basically you're screwing the jet all the way to zero. So I call that zero. Um, from zero on the low, which is always the closest jet to the cylinder, is always your low, whether you're on a still or a Husqvarna or whatever you're running. Um, then I go anywhere from a turn to a turn and a quarter, depending on how much the saw is built or how much the muffler is opened up or whatever. But for a stock saw, anywhere from a turn to a turn and an eighth on the low is pretty damn close. Um, on the high, I do the same. I go all the way down till it stops, call that zero, and then I go all the way one turn counterclockwise. And that will get you relatively close at sea level. Um, I always run my low fatter than I do my high because all the fuel is supplied through the low jet. So if you adjust your low jet, you're adjusting your high jet. If you adjust your high, it doesn't affect your low. So I like to think of it as I'm giving fuel to the reservoir so the fuel is able to get to the high. If I cut down the low, you know, really lean, and I'm trying to run my high real fat, in my mind it's just running out of fuel. So I like the low really fat. I think the throttle response and the low end grunt on the stump is a lot better with it fatter. Um, everybody's got their way of doing things, but that's just the way that I do it. Um, after that, you're uh, pretty much just looking at the screen color, looking for uh, brown like a cardboard box or something of that nature. You don't want white that's too lean and you don't want black because that's running way too fat, way too much fuel. Um, so you're looking for that brown cardboard box look on your either your spark plug or your screen, your fire screen. And um, if you have a saw that doesn't have a rev limiter, you know, you can hold the saw wide open on top throttle, top end, and just dial the high clockwise leaner until it just cleans up to where it's just singing no dieseline whatsoever and then I start to go back counterclockwise till it barely has a sputter to it till it starts to diesel and then I know that the top end is adjusted correctly that's how I do it by ear after I get my low at a turn and a quarter to a turn and an eighth um, there's a lot of different ways to do it but that's the way that I do it hope that helped you out